Hello to the moon. Uh, to the moon. I was just speaking in French. So no, hello everybody. <laughs> hello Hinatea. I am very happy that Hinatea that you accepted to do this interview here. Hinatea is a Tahitian dance teacher and she joined Zomba in June. And I remember her coming to me, talking to me with all her doubts and about, can I do this? Is this something interesting for online business? And we talked uh, several times, I think, uh, before you joined Zomba. And now you are there, you had given you have already given your first online course. And I think it's just for me so amazing to see how you the person you were before, the person you are now. And I will be very happy if you tell us uh, about your business, about you, present yourself, if, uh, and then how it was for you to decide to join Zumba. Then to start, what did you do in, in July? I think this is very interesting for everybody. And how do you feel now? So I'll give you, I'll let you talk about all this. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. To do this. First, thank you for having me. And um, so I'm Hinatea. This is my name from Tahiti, that my grandmother picked. And my French name is Natalie. Um, I'm using Hinatea for everything related to dance. And, I love Tahitian dance. So this is my, just became my passion. I didn't know before. <laughs> it began my passion the more I realized what do I want in life? And I realized this makes me happy and this is what I want to do. So I started to teach some classes offline a while ago when I used to, so I'm French. I was born in France. Uh, I was there for about 18 or 20 years. Then I went to Ireland, Dublin, and now I live in Poland. My husband is Polish and we decided to come back here because we have a small child, four years old, and we wanted him to be closer to family. So we, it was my family in France or his family in Poland, so we're here. Um, so and you are, you are an engineer. This I'm is your profession. I studied engineering, yes. Um, and it's funny because I never worked as an engineer in my field for, um, let's say, maps or land surveying. So I went directly to something more uh, analyst. Mm -hmm. And now I'm a full-time uh, worker in an um, international company here in Poland. And the work in Poland is 40 hours. The salary is pretty low comparing to what I had in Ireland. And I think that's one of the first frustrations I had and what pushes me to try to find some other source of income and things that makes me happy as well. So uh, I just scrolled on Facebook one day and saw the advertisement from Sigrun, this woman in red, so enthusiastic and telling you so nice things about you want to do something just start now take actions and i actually finished a coaching again so for my first time i did a one year nine months of coaching with another person in french and i found that i wanted to work on my business but i worked more on my own personality or perception state of mind which was great a great start But I wanted to take action and start really my business. So I saw this post on Facebook. I wrote, I checked the comments and I checked the people who wrote comments. So there was one girl in my city here in Poznań. So I wrote to her straight away. She answered very quickly. I just find this amazing in this Somba energy that people are so reactive. So I didn't find myself asking a question and waiting for weeks and weeks and feeling lost and not considered so amazing. And this girl in Poland told me, okay, you're a dancer and you're French. You should speak to Gudrun. So she put us in contact. We were in contact straight away and, uh, and I could compare myself to, to her because working full time, the love for dance and Uh, multinationalities so I just thought okay I'm inspired now <laughs> I need to start and I need to do it so um, yeah so I registered to Samba uh, at the last minute one about one hour before <laughs> yes and I think yeah I was still hesitating until really the last moment we had a last phone call just before 
and I'm so proud I did it. I'm really happy. Mm. So um, I asked some people around me, and then even they even told me no. But I could hear my heart that was telling me yes. So this is something we have to consider as well. Like we are not them, we are us. So I'm me, and I wanted to do this for myself. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's so true what you say. Sometimes people around us they just say, "Don't do it. You are losing your money. You don't yeah. know in what you invest, and are you sure? And oh, it will never work, and and things like this. And it's like you and say, I think I want to get the worries of other people. Yes, and you do so, this, and and trust yourself. It is such a first step. Uh, investing in Zomba in, in in oneself for me, it also was this, this. I trust myself that this is. I feel it. It is. This is what I want to do. And you did this, and exactly. it's an amazing experience, isn't it? All right, to yeah. are ready to to make this space and say, I feel I have to do this. Yeah, and there is actually something else. So I um, I was already uh, added into your group and with other girls who are thinking about joining Samba. And I've seen uh, Salwa, who is also in Samba. Yeah, yeah. I wrote to her because she's also a dancer. And then there was this video from Francesca who said, she made a live video and she said to everyone, something similar. And she said, I just, re I just registered. This is your time now. Don't hesitate and think about the investment you get for yourself. And she, she the words she used and the voice she used was so, calm but really sure of herself and this gave me the impression that yes i need to be like that too mm. so it's really uh, multiple people who inspired me and i just said okay i'm gonna go and also i think i joined because you were there it's not only just me and sigun but the fact that there is all some kind of sisterhood that i love because yeah. i have three sisters yeah. so, yeah. yeah, it's actually important. We find the sisterhood in Sigruns. We, we call ourselves the Somba sisters. Yeah, I love and, it. Yeah, and then I have a little a smaller sisterhood and we talk in French in our smaller sisterhood. It's also important, I think. And we did this, what you did in July, we did this all together in the little mastermind group. I call it the circle of the magic woman. For me, this is what it is. I see every woman as a magic woman. <laughs> and yes, let's know what you did in July. Yes, so in July was the start. And there was no time to just stop and think too much. So I registered and I started straight away in the starting blocks and going. Yeah. So there was a the summer school, Samba summer school to create. And... I've done it, of course, I wanted to. So I always was thinking about doing something online since two years, at least like seriously, even more longer. Uh, that was four weeks of online um, course. And I called it the happiness with Tahitian dance because I wanted to teach some Tahitian dance, but not only the moves that we can get from anywhere, from anyone, but my style, my point of view, what makes me happy, how you should, uh, what can you feel with your face, what emotions you can show to the public and uh, to whoever is around you. There is my son very often with me. So mm. I was doing this, even though I was working full time, even though there was my son with me. Uh, this is possible if you want to. It's not, uh, there is always this, I don't have time possibility. And I know I could use it a lot, but it's also, I want to create that time to make it. So I enjoyed it so much. I met a lot of amazing women, 30 girls registered. Uh, some person already knew from before, so they could share the word. Um, and some new person that I never met before who turned, uh, it turns out that they live in Dublin, for example. And mm -hmm. after the course, yeah, and I met them when I was in Dublin for seven years. Uh, after the course, we said, okay, we're just going to stay in touch. And I gave a dance class last week in Dublin with the, some people I had before in my classes and four of the people who were in the online course. Wow, how magic is that? Yes. <laughs> it's magic, isn't it? So there is, for me, there is still a connection between online and offline. Yes. 
and um, I like it also. I think it's complementary. Mm. Now, nowadays, we can use both, so this is great for me because I don't want to be bound to just one location. I like that I can teach anywhere in the world. I could uh, go back to Ireland, go to France, where is my family, uh, here in Poland. Uh, and the language, I mostly teach in English. And of course, French, French is my native language, so I could do French. And now I start to teach in Polish, but I think I'm still having a funny accent or funny mistakes. Mm. So, not fully yes, honest. and you could do, you could uh, organize, give workshops even in Tahiti. This would be incredible. <laughs> I'm getting because people. I'm going there on holidays. And this is also part of, uh, did I have my tickets to Tahiti? I think there are so many magical changes that happened to me since I registered to Samba in my mind, but in real, like uh, I'm changing job now. I'm going to a part-time job. So it's gonna be two times half a day available for dancing and more time working from home, not fully, but three days in the office, the rest at home. And also I'm going to Tahiti in two months. So this is the amazing project that I have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some more training and I'm going to dance, take pictures, share with the world how happy I am there. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, all, all goes is... together. So there is no, nothing happens by coincidence. I think it's just. Yes, yes. It, it, it transformed. Uh, actually, it, it so much transformed your life. This yeah. decision you took to click on the button and say, I join. Yes, and this last minute, uh, last hour before doors closing. Yes, and now here you are. I think this is so amazing for me. It's a real, really pleasure, real pleasure to see this. And yes. I see it. I see. I see the transformation in you. And that it's uh, it's always not always, but when it's with the summer school, uh, this is so much happening. I see it in the people who did the summer school. It was the same for me. It completely transformed my life. And now Sigrun is doing something which she is calling the kickstart. And it's the same energy and the same, uh, same which will happen for the new people who join this time. It will transform their lives and they don't know it. <laughs> it's, you cannot imagine it before, can you? No, not really. Yeah. yeah. There's always good surprises. Like if you focus on the, if you have a good energy and good focus, you only get good. It's just reflecting back to you so yes yes this, this is so, somber sisters this is an energy which is really lifting up i think when mm -hmm. i'm sometimes i think oh and you have this roller coaster and she's talking about it in the business you have it up and yeah, down take a screenshot I yeah guess. yeah me too i i I, th I thought this is something i don't die i always think of when i'm down when i'm in this mm -hmm. roller coaster i i said okay but let's look how it was uh, before and knowing uh, am I still here and, and then I go also to the community and read what's happening there and it always lifts me up or I can put something there oh I don't feel well because this is happening and then you get like I don't know 60 comments of everybody cheering you up huh? yeah this is amazing that's that's what I read I started to read more uh, self-development books and they say about surround yourself with people that who inspire you, motivate you, lift you up. And that's what we get from Zomba. And I love it. So. Yeah. And, and um, it's also what people sometimes don't get on the online world. If you are sitting in a country where you don't, you are not surrounded by the people or they don't understand what you are doing, uh, yes. then they can, yeah, they cannot understand it. They want perhaps to prevent that something bad happens. They are scared for you. But you can have this community online. And I think this is for me, for example, I, um, I, I love speaking German. I never have the occasion to speak German here. And we have a German speaking part in Zomba. So I'm so happy I can practice my German. <laughs> of course, we practice a lot the English. It's getting much better for most of the people. And uh, it has a lot of uh, funny side effects and very lovely side effects because all these people are in there with their expertise uh, and it's, it's yeah. incredible what we all find yes that's true. wonderful Inatea I thank you very much I don't know is there something you would like to add which we um, say oh just uh, yeah I actually made a post yesterday because I am doing for myself uh, my own challenge of dancing 100 days in a row I did mm. 30 days and yesterday I was so tired and 
were kind of arguing at home. You all know this because you have your own problems and relationships and children. And then I thought, I'm going to give up. And at 10 p.m., I just said, no, I'm not giving up. And I made a post on Instagram. Please, if you have a dream or something that makes you happy, just never give up. And I danced for one hour. I love it. <laughs> And I just want to share it again. It doesn't matter if it's dancing or something else. Just think about yourself and do something good for you every day. So yeah, it's yeah. always going to yeah. help. Very good advice. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. So what would you say to people who are like thinking, is this for me, not for me? How can they be clear about it? What would well, you say? I think it's just uh, you would feel about it listen to yourself not to other people because that's the mistake i did i was asking around me almost everyone told me to not do it <laughs> and that's the people who are not doing it and they're scared for me and i didn't want to gain their own fears so i wanted to trust myself my heart and i'm really happy i did it so listen to yourself how do you feel about it i also had um, a short call with uh, lynn from yeah. Samba, yeah. Um, so there is the, the call directly with the team Sigon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is right. People can talk with me. <laughs> They can listen so to all the... I think I was lucky because I'm like speaking French to you. I had uh, Agnieszka who speaks Polish. So I actually had in total three calls from three different persons in Samba. And Yeah, I think. And what I also love about it, I know uh, the team and Sigrun, if they feel yeah. it is not good fit, they will tell. I was going they, to say it. There is yeah. no one who forced me to do it. Yeah, they will. I, I heard from one person, uh, yeah. Sigrun said, don't do it. It's not a good time for you. It's yeah. just take care of what you have to take care. Come back later. And yeah. I love this. I, it's really the mentality. So, yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Natia. I think it's a fantastic interview. I love our yeah. interview. I think it's very inspiring what you say. And it is very necessary for people to hear. So I'm very happy you did this and I wish you a very lovely day and we stay in contact with our mastermind yes. uh, group yeah. and let's see who will join us uh, at the latest on Friday or um, even before yeah. and yeah. welcome then in our community too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And bye bye everybody.